The guys are over in Afghanistan. They've been at a uh, site for a couple of months now. And as part of their routine, they go around and patrol the perimeter. Um, water's kind of a scarcity over there, so they're always checking, you know, to see if there's any water sources and stuff. Um, right before Christmas, they stumbled onto a cave with a litter of eight pups in it. The uh, pups were very cold, um, tiny, didn't look like they were being fed well. The guys kind of kept watch on them for about a week, week and a half, and um, every time they, they walked by, they didn't see a mother anywhere near. Um, the dogs were shivering, and they went out one day, and one of the puppies had died overnight, so they brought them onto the base and decided they were going to feed them. They were brought on the base, and they have become, um, as, as one of the guys on the, the website put it, family. Uh, they really have become a stress reliever for the guys. Um, the place that my husband's at, I say guys because there are all males on that base serving. Um, but they have become this, this source of connectedness. You know, when you, you think about soldiers leaving, you think, well, they've left their job, they've left their home country, they've left their family, but many of them have left their pets, too. Um, and anybody that owns animals knows that they do become family. They are um, every bit as, as important to them as their loved ones. So to um, have these animals there, um, it has become a, a great stress reliever, a great connectiveness. All of the guys spend time with these puppies. And the, the website that's been up and running, um, I guess a little over a month now, we've raised a um, little over $1,700. We're at about 8%. Um, I know the guys are getting discouraged. My husband was even discouraged the other day. He emailed me and he said, what if we can't get them home? You know, the thought of leaving these dogs behind when they've been such an important part of these soldiers' lives. You know, as one guy put it, in, in the throes of war where you see death and destruction everywhere, it is so much better to help something live. And he said, you know, you go out, you get love from them, they, they greet you, they're excited to see you, and it's, it helps make the not-so-glorious parts of war a little bit better. And they have become family, and to leave family behind is going to devastate them.